Hey, what's up? How is everyone doing today? And welcome back to another build tutorial where today I'm going to be showing you how to build this airport terminal in Minecraft. And this is part of a mini build tutorial series that I'm doing. And this is going to include off this airport terminal. And I'm also going to show you how to do the watchtower, the runway and some cool airport vehicles as well. So stay tuned for those other parts, which I will be releasing later on. And if you do enjoy this tutorial, I'd really appreciate it if you give that like button a little smash. And it does help me out. And I would highly appreciate that. But with all that said, let's take off and let's start building this thing. Here are all the materials that you will need for this build. The plot of land you will need is 54 by 32 blocks. So before I start building this airport, the first step is just where I've marked out all the land here. I'm just going to fill this entire area with some light gray concrete so for our terminals the first up let's just move to the right hand side just here and i'm going to grab myself some yellow concrete to begin with and then with this yellow concrete starting from this corner here i'm going to go up another two blocks and then on this third block i'm just going to place one yellow concrete just there and then just moving across by one i'm going to build up another two concrete just like this and then i'm going to go across another one and i'm going to build this up so it's five blocks high in total and then for some sort of curved shape, I'm going to go inwards again. I'm going to go inwards by another one and just going to place another two yellow concrete just there. And then going in again, I'm going to place one more yellow concrete diagonally up just there. And then I'm just going to go up one more and place another two yellow concrete just there. And this will just give us some sort of curved shape to start our terminal off with. And then I'm just going to extend this curve across by another nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm just doing that for the rest of all of these points. So once we've built up this curved wall here, I'm going to do the exact same thing on this other side. So going to this left hand corner, starting from this third block, I'm going to place another yellow concrete just there. And then going forward one and up, I'm going to place another block there and then another one on top of that. And then going across one more, I'm going to build up five yellow concrete just there. And then going back one, let's place another two yellow concrete. And then let's go across another one, one more yellow concrete just there. And then finally two yellow concrete coming out just there. And again, I'm just going to extend this across so it's 10 blocks long in total. And then just moving to the middle section of the curve just here. Just on these top two blocks, I'm going to place two more yellow concrete just there. And I'm just going to extend this going all the way across until I meet up the other curve just over there. And then once I've built this all across, from this point, I'm going to leave a gap of one. And I'm just going to follow kind of the curve that we've done in this upper half, just here, just like this, while leaving a gap just there. I'm just going to extend this so it's 10 blocks in total. And then once we've built this section here, I'm going to leave another gap of one. And I'm just going to repeat what I've done there. So again, just following the curve up and then extending this so it's 10 blocks in total. And then I'm just going to repeat this again for the final section here. And the next up, just moving back to the right hand side just here. With some more yellow concrete, I'm going to go up by one more just here. And I'm just going to go across 27 blocks in total. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27 just there. And if you've done this right, it should align up with the bottom corner of our guide just there. And then I'm just going to mirror this on the other side as well. And the next up, I'm going to build across four more blocks just on this end just here. And I'm just going to extend this across until I meet up with the end over there. And then once this has been built across, just move into this first section here. I'm going to place one more block just going up one more just on this end just there. And then I'm just going to build this going all the way across until I meet up with the yellow concrete just there. And then I'm just going to fill in this entire area with all of this yellow concrete. So once this bit has been filled in, I'm now going to repeat this process for these other four sections of the roof just here. So again, for this second part, with some more yellow concrete, let's go up by one more. And this time I'm going to do it on the other side as well. And I'm just going to build this all the way across until I reach the end there. Just did the same for this point as well. And then again, just filling in this whole area. So I'm just going to repeat this for the other three sections. So once all those parts have been filled in, it should look something like this. And then moving back to the front, I'm now going to grab myself some white concrete and then just starting from this point here, I'm going to place one white concrete just there. And I'm just going to build this going all the way across. And then I'm just going to thicken this by another three blocks. So once the front has been built, just move into the inside. And then with some more yellow concrete, I'm going to place firstly two just there. And then I'm going to place another four blocks just on top of that. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. And the next lot, I'm going to grab myself some white concrete. And then what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to line the roof with all this white concrete just to make the inside look that little bit brighter. So firstly, just come into this side. From this block, I'm going to place white concrete going across just to this point here. And I'm just going to follow this all the way up. So I'm just going to keep building this up, just using the roof as a guide. Just until I reach this point just there. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, from this point just here, I'm going to build all the way across just until here. And then again, just building this up. And then after that, from this point, I'm going to build across just to connect with the other point on the other side. Just till I connect just there. And then I'm just going to connect these points with those points over there, just making sure that we leave the gaps for these windows. And then after that, I'm just going to connect these points up with those points, making sure we leave the gaps for the skylights. So once this front bit has been lined, just moving to this top left hand corner just here. With some more white concrete, I'm just going to place one just there. And I'm just going to build this going all the way along. Just until I'm one block in just here. And then just rotating around, I'm going to build this across. Just until, again, I'm one block in on the wall just here. And then I'm just going to build this across. Just until I meet up just there. 
But once all that edge has been outlined with the white, I'm just going to fill in this inside area with the rest of the white concrete. Just making sure we're leaving gaps for the skylights like we did with these sections just there. been painted over it should look something like this so next up for some windows so firstly i'm just going to grab myself some gray concrete and just move into the right hand side firstly from this point i'm going to leave a gap of six so one two three four five six and on the seventh block i'm going to place one gray concrete just there and i'm just going to build this up just until i'm five blocks high in total and i'm just going to repeat this another three more times And then for the doors, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass panes here. And, also, and I'm also going to grab myself a deep slate tiled wall as well. And then firstly, so the first door is going to be on this second window just here. And then with some black stained glass panes, I'm going to place five of these going up just there. And then I'm going to place one more next to it. And then a deep slate tile wall just on top there. And then more panes on top of that. I'm just going to mirror this on this side as well. And then I'm just going to repeat this on this fourth section just here. And then with the rest of these three sections, I'm just going to fill all of these windows up with the rest of this glass. And now once all of our windows have been filled in, I'm now going to grab myself some string and some grey carpet. And then just on the third block just here, I'm just going to place a row of string going all the way across just to the other side here. And then on top of this string, I'm going to place two carpet just going all the way across. And then just moving around to this right hand side here with some more grey concrete starting from this block i'm going to go across eight another four blocks so one two three four and on that fourth block i'm going to place grey concrete just there so just one grey concrete just there and then from here i'm going to leave a gap of six place another one just leave another gap of six here another one there one final gap of six and then one grey concrete just there and then turning around i'm going to leave another gap of six just in between each grey concrete just until i reach the end so just making sure we're leaving that gap of six. Just until I reach just here. And then moving around, I'm just going to continue this. Just until I reach this point just here. So I should be four blocks away from the wall. Just at this point just there. And once all of these points have been placed, I'm just going to build these going all the way up. Just till it reaches the ceiling. And then once all these pillars have been built up, I'm now going to grab myself some black stained glass. And just from this first point, I'm just going to fill in this whole area with all the glass. So I'm just going to fill in all of these gaps between each of these pillars for all of our large windows. And then once all these large windows have been filled in, moving back to our grey carpet, just starting from this point just here, I'm going to build this all the way up, placing all the carpet on top of each other. And I'm just going to do this going all the way around all of these windows until I reach the other side over there. So next up for the baggage handler door. So firstly, what we're going to do, if we grab ourselves some white concrete, and then what I'm going to do, just from this point, I'm just going to destroy all these blocks, going up five in total. 
And then just in this top row, I'm going to place six white concrete just there. And then I'm just going to destroy six rows of carpets just there to make room for our doorway. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to extend this door out another four blocks. And then after that, I'm just going to place some carpet just to fix it just on top. And then just moving around here, now we're going to add our doors for all of our gates and the arrival section as well. So firstly, just with this first window here, I'm just going to destroy these two bottom carpet just there temporarily. And I'm just going to do this for every other window just here. So just for the next two other windows. But then for this last window, I'm going to destroy four as well, just there temporarily. So these first three sections are going to be for the gates. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to destroy eight blocks just in between the gap just there for a little doorway. So I'm just going to repeat this another two times. And then I'm going to grab myself some white stained glass panes and a deep slate tiled wall. And then I'm just going to place one white stained glass just there. A deep slate wall on top of that. And then two more glass just on top. I'm just repeating this another two times. And then just for the arrival section, I'm just going to destroy a 4x4 four four square just there. I'm just going to place more white stained glass just on either side. And then I'm just going to add a deep slate wall just on the second block just there. And then just to fix the top layer, I'm going to grab myself some string. And then just on the top section of the door, I'm just going to place two string just there. So I'm just going to do this for each top section. And then moving to our grey carpet, I'm just going to build this on top of each other, on top of the string, just to fill in these gaps that we created, just to fix the windows. And by doing that, that will give us all of our doors for our gates and our arrivals hall, which we will do later on. And the next up for our airport sign here. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some grey concrete. And I'm also going to grab myself a quartz block and a quartz stair as well. So firstly, with some grey concrete, just starting from this block just here, I'm just going to go across six blocks. And then just from this fifth block here, I'm just going to go up, leaving a gap. I'm just going to extend this so it's four across in total just like this and then for our plane i'm going to move to our quartz stairs here and then just on this block here i'm going to place one quartz stair just upside down just there and on top i'm going to place another quartz stair facing the other direction just there and i'm going to place another quartz stair just behind that and then with some quartz blocks i'm going to place two of these on top just there i'm going to place two more on the left hand side and i'm going to place one more on the right followed by the quartz stair just there and then just on top of these two blocks, I'm going to place one more quartz stair just there, followed by an upside down one behind that, and then just one more on top. And then for the tail of this aircraft, I'm going to place one quartz stair just there, and then an upside down one just there as well. And that will give us our airport sign. And then just to finish the exterior off, I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass and then I'm just going to fill in the rest of the skylights. So using this kind of like white inner kind of curve as a guide, I'm just going to place all this black stained glass. Just filling in these gaps just until I reach the end. So just repeating this for the other three skylights. And then just one final touch, just where we've got these borders, I'm going to grab some smooth stone. I'm just going to fill in this front area. Just to neaten this terminal off a little bit more. And then I'm just going to fill in the 
the rest of these yellow borders as well. So with all of our skylights all filled in, that is the exterior of our airport terminal all complete. So next up, let's move on to the interior. So first up for the check-in area. So firstly, I'm going to grab myself some yellow concrete. Let's grab ourselves some grey concrete. Let's also grab ourselves some black grey concrete. And let's also finally grab ourselves some white concrete. And then firstly, just starting from this spot here, I'm going to do some sort of like patterned wall. So the way I'm going to do this is starting with the yellow concrete, I'm going to go across four blocks to begin with. And the next lot, I'm going to alternate it to some grey concrete. I'm going to do four of that. And then I'm going to do four white just on the end there. And the next I'm going to move to my light grey concrete. I'm going to place four blocks just there. And the next to that, I'm going to add some more yellow. And the next to that, I'm going to add some more grey concrete just here. And the next lot, I'm going to grab some white. Let's place four white there. And then I'm also going to grab myself some more light grey and then some yellow. And then for our fourth layer, let's go to our grey concrete. Let's place another four there. And next to that, let's place four more white concrete. And then let's also place three more light grey just there. And then just for our final layer, four yellow concrete just there. And then grey concrete in the middle. And then just white on the end there. And that will give us a cool little kind of wall pattern for our check-in desk. And then just in the middle of this wall, starting from these two blocks, I'm just going to destroy these two. And then I'm just going to destroy another four just on top of that and the next up, i'm going to grab myself some deep slate tiled slabs just there i'm just going to place two of these just at the top so now moving to our actual check-in desk so firstly with some more of this gray concrete starting from this point here i'm going to place one gray concrete just there i'm going to leave a gap of six and place another one just on the end there as well and then i'm just going to leave a gap in between this block i'm just going to place another three again doing this on the other side and i'm just going to place another two blocks either side just there and on top of each of these blocks, I'm going to grab myself some white carpet. And I'm just going to place one just here and then three along just there. So we'll do that on the other side as well. And then I'm just going to leave a gap and then I'm going to place another two white carpet just on either side just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself a birch gate. And I'm just going to place this on each end here for a little entrance to the desk. And then for a little laptop design, I'm going to grab myself a black stone pressure plate. And I'm just going to place one of these on either side. And that will be followed by a iron trap door. So I'm just going to place one of these behind each of the pressure plates. And I'm also going to grab myself a lever. And I'm just going to place one of these on either side. I'm just going to flip them up for a nice little laptop lid just there. And then for a screen, I'm just going to grab myself a painting and just place one painting on each trap door just there. And then for a little chair, for that, I'm going to grab myself a quartz slab. I'm going to place one slab just there and another one on the other side as well. And then I'm going to grab myself a iron door and I'm going to place one of these just behind each of the quartz slabs. And then just to finish them off, I'm also going to grab myself a grey banner. And I'm just going to place one of these in front of each door just there. And the next up for the baggage belt, I'm going to grab myself some black wool. And then I'm just going to place two just there and then I'm just going to extend this all the way across to the back of the wall there and I'm also going to place one more just going up there and then just in this section here I'm going to grab myself some deep slate tile slabs and place two of these just in front and then I'm also going to grab myself a powered rail and a normal rail and firstly I'm just going to place one powered rail just there I'm just going to place all these normal rails going up to that block over there and then, for, and then on this block, I'm going to place one more normal rail there just so it doesn't connect with that one for the time being. I'm just going to place this going back, just back to here. And then with another powered rail, I'm just going to place one of these just there. And then moving back to the levers, I'm just going to place one lever either side, which will activate the baggage belt and send your luggage on an amazing journey until you hear it crash and then you think, oh my God, what has happened? And the next up, just moving to the back, with some more black wall, I'm just going to place four blocks just there. Then I'm going to place one powered rail just there. And then I'm going to place one temporary block just there. I'm going to place an extra powered rail there. I'm going to place one powered rail just there. And then a normal rail behind that. And then we can just destroy that block just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself some grey banners. And I'm just going to place two of these just here for the baggage exit just there. And the next up, I'm going to grab myself some black wool. And I'm just going to place, from this point, I'm going to place just one just there, so just two blocks up. I'm going to place one more next to that. Then I'm going to leave a gap of two, and then place another two just on the other side. 
And then finally, with some chains, I'm just going to place two of these on top of each wall. And that will be the kind of signs showing what kind of flight the bag is going to. And then just to decorate these signs, I'm going to grab myself an invisible item frame. And the command to this will be in the description below. But yeah, so if I just paste that in here, that'll give us one of them. And I'm just going to place one of these on each left hand side of each sign just there. And then for our airline sign, I'm going to call this one Elytra Air. And I'm just going to place one of these in each frame just there. And next to it, I'm going to add a sign just saying all the flight details. So what I'm going to put if we put our sign down... For example, I'm just going to put check in and then I'm going to put Elytra Air and then this also put, let's do a destination. Where am I feeling? Let's put Greece. I'm feeling Greece. Let's do Athens and then this just say open just there and I'm just going to repeat that on this one as well. And the next time I'm going to grab myself some white concrete and then just from this point, I'm going to build across seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm just going to double this up and then build this so it's five blocks high in total. Just so it's level with the wall of the check-in area. And then I'm just going to leave a gap or two. I'm just going to place another four white concrete there and then build that up another five blocks just there. And then I'm just going to fill this top bit in as well. And then just from this point, I'm going to go across four blocks. I'm just going to double that up. And then just build this up again so it's five blocks high in total. And then just for a little door here, I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass and a deep slate tile wall. And then I'm just going to place one pane just there, a wall on top of that, and then just two glass on top of that. And now for a escalator design here. So firstly, I'm just going to grab myself some grey concrete. And then starting from this block, I'm going to place two grey concrete just there. I'm just going to leave a gap of two and place another two just on the end there. And then just going diagonally up, I'm going to place another four grey concrete just like this. And I'm just going to mirror this on this side as well, just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself some glowstone and some iron trap doors. And I'm just going to destroy these two blocks just here and replace the bottom with some glowstone. And I'm just going to finish it off with two iron trap doors just on top, just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself some deep slate stairs. So the tile ones again. And I'm just going to place six rows just going up, just there. And then just at the bottom here with some black stained glass panes, I'm just going to place two just there. And then just moving to the back of the escalator, I'm now going to grab myself some stone stairs. And I'm just going to place these just behind each of the deep take tile stairs just there once we've got the first floor in then we can finish this design off in a bit so just moving to the other side of the wall just here i'm going to grab myself some more white concrete and then i'm just going to place a pillar of five just on the end just there and then i'm actually just going to destroy this back wall for the time being because i'm going to fill this up with a, another pattern so for this pattern i'm going to grab the same materials as i did at the start so just get ourselves some more yellow concrete some grey concrete and some light grey concrete as well. And then just to start, firstly, I'm going to do a strip of grey concrete just there. Next to that, let's add some yellow. And then finally, let's also add ourselves some white just there. But on the end, I'm only going to do three blocks just so it lines up because we're going to have a wall coming across here later on. And then moving back to the right, let's place another row of yellow and then let's add ourselves some white. And then let's also get ourselves some light grey just there. And then let's add some white again. And then let's add ourselves some more light grey. And then some dark grey on top of that one. And then let's add some more dark grey in the middle there. And then let's add some more light grey on the right. And then some more yellow just on the left there. And then let's add some more white on top of the yellow. Let's add some more yellow on top of the grey there. And then finally some dark grey on top of the light grey as well. And then I'm also going to create another two holes where the bags are going to come through. So I'm going to create... A little hole just there and then i'm going to leave a gap or two and then punch another hole just there and then i'm going to grab myself some deep slate slabs and i'm just going to place one of these on top of each hole just there and the next up i'm going to return to our white concrete and then just moving over here and then just from this block with the white concrete i'm just going to build this going all the way across
just until I align with this post just there. And then I'm just going to build this whole wall up so it's five high in total. And then once all this wall has been built up, just moving back to this area here. From this point, I'm just going to place another six white concrete and again just building this up so it's level with the big wall. So this little area here will be where all the bags are collected by the baggage trucks and will be sent to the aircraft. So next up for the baggage reclaim belt. So for this, firstly, I'm going to grab myself some black wool. And then just starting from this point, well, let's destroy these first. I'm just going to replace these two points with some black wool. And then firstly, just on this right side, I'm going to place four black wool just here. And then I'm going to place two more just going across just here. And then I'm going to place another one just coming out forward just there. And I'm just going to place another two on the right here. And then just from this point, I'm going to place another four black wool just there. And then from this point, I'm going to place another four just here. And then moving around, I'm going to place another two just going across. And then another one just in front of that. And then another one on the left-hand side. And then another one just on the left there as well. And then I'm just going to build this to connect up with that point just there. And the next up, I'm going to grab myself some rails. So with some powered rails, I'm just going to place one of these on each side. And then I'm also going to grab myself some normal rails. And I'm just going to place these going all the way around the belt. Just here. And the next up, I'm going to grab myself some stone slabs as well. And I'm just going to place these over the hollow area just here. But then on this block, I'm actually going to destroy this one. And then I'm just going to place two slabs just inside it, just there. And I'm also going to grab myself some black wool as well. And then I'm just going to place two deep slate tile walls just there. And then on top of that, this other black wall just there. Put a little sign. And then just to show what flight it's come from, let's grab a bird sign, place it there. And then for our other airline, I'm going to call that one Honey Air. And then I'm just going to say arrival from, where does it arrive from? Let's say London area, just there. And then just one final touch, I'm going to grab myself an iron trap door. And I'm just going to place these going all the way around the whole belt system just here. And then just moving to the back, I'm just going to place two more black wall, just either side, just there. And then just leaving a gap here, I'm going to place another four black wall just there and then I'm going to add another two powered rails either side and then one normal rail in these corners and then just two more powered rails just in the middle there and then with a smooth stone slab and then with a smooth stone slab just going to place two of them just in the middle just there and to power these up I'm going to grab myself a redstone torch I'm just going to place one just here and then one on this side as well and then just underneath these blocks I'm going to destroy one block and another one and just place a torch there to power this one as well. And moving to our checking system, I'm also going to place two torches either side to power those rails also. And then just to finish off the belt system, I'm going to grab myself a grey banner. I'm just going to place one of these in front of each hole just there. So let's quickly try and test out this baggage reclaim system to see if it works. So if I just get myself a minecart with a chest here, let's just place that down. Let's give it a little nudge. And there, there we are. As you can see, our bags have returned from our flight. Um, it's taking its time around there, but it should whiz around. Hopefully, it gets back to the powered rail. Come on. Yeah, there we are. So, next up for the passport control area. So, firstly, I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass panes just here. And then, just starting from this left-hand side here, I'm just going to place three panes just there. And then, come into the other side, I'm going to place another three just there as well. And then, next, I'm going to grab myself some white concrete. And then I'm just going to place, starting from this point here, I'm just going to place three going along just like this. I'm just going to repeat this, leaving one gap in between them, just until I meet with the other side. Just here. And then moving back to the glass panes, I'm then going to place another two just on the first two blocks. Just there. And then next I'm going to grab myself a deep slate tiled wall. And I'm just going to place one of these on the end of each little section just here. 
And then after that, I'm going to grab myself a birch gate. And then I'm just going to place one of these on the end, just in between each gap. Just there. And then I'm also going to place one at the front here, but making sure this one's left open. And then just to finish off, I'm going to grab myself an iron trap door as well. And I'm just going to place one of these in the middle. In between each little bit, just there. And then one final step after that, I'm now going to grab myself a custom head and I've got a camera custom head here which looks something like this and if you don't know how to get this I will show you now so if you head over to minecraftheads.com there are loads of custom heads to choose from so you just type in what you're searching for and as you can see there will be loads of heads you can choose from here and if you choose your one and then copy one of the commands for the correct version paste it in a command block and that will give you your head happy days the link to this head will be in the description below. And I'm not going to do this head. I'm just going to place one of these on top of each wall like this. So this is kind of replicating the E-gate kind of system you see in airports. Let's just place the head on top of each podium just like this. And then finally, just for a sign, I'm going to grab myself some more black wall, some chains, and some birch signs just here. And then using this third head as a guide with this black wall, I'm going to go up by two blocks just there. And I'm just going to actually, is it two blocks? No, it's one block. Let's just bring that back down. And then let's just place another one next to that. And then moving along to the fifth head here, I'm going to place another two blocks on top of that one. And then with two chains, just going to place two chains on top of that. And then with a birch sign, I'm just going to type in passport control. Just there. And then I'm just going to say, have your passports ready. Because if you don't have your passport, um, yeah, that might be a bit of an issue. And I'm just going to replicate this on the other side as well. And the next up for the queuing systems, I'm just going to go back to my black stained glass panes here. And then firstly, just so I'm lined up with this area here. I'm just, from this point, I'm going to place all these panes going all the way along. Just until I meet up with the wall just there. And then coming back. I'm, from this point I'm going to place a row of glass panes. Just until I reach just this block here. And then I'm just going to extend these going all the way across. Just until I reach here. Leaving a gap there so people can walk through. And that will give us our little queuing system. Passport control just here. So next up for the gates at the back just here. So firstly, I'm going to grab myself some more white concrete. And then firstly, just starting from this kind of pillar here, just next to the first door of the gate is there. I'm just going to build this wall going all the way up just until I'm level with this wall just there. And then going across kind of like another two pillars, I'm just going to do the exact same thing just here as well. Just so we're dividing the different gates just here. And next up for the escalators, which will lead people down to the gate. So for this, firstly, let's grab ourselves some grey concrete just to begin with. And then just starting from this block here, I'm going to place two grey concrete just there. Just moving that on the other side. And then I'm just going to go diagonally up by another four blocks just here. Just repeating that on this side. And then I'm just going to destroy these two blocks at the bottom. Grab myself some glowstone as well. Two glowstone there. And then I'm just going to add two trap doors on top of that. And the next up, I'm going to grab myself some deep slate tiles stairs. And then I'm just going to place these going up. Just next to each of these blocks. Just there. And then if we just go behind this staircase here, I'm also going to grab myself some stone brick stairs. It's similar to the kind of staircase we've done near the check-in area. I'm just going to place these stone brick stairs just behind that. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to grab myself another black stained glass pane and I'm just going to place two of these at the start and I'm just going to place these going all the way up just there so with the escalator partially done I'm just going to repeat that in these two sections as well so for the flooring I'm going to grab myself some light grey concrete and then firstly just starting from this block just here I'm going to take care of all the stairing I'm just going to go across seven blocks just along here and then from this point, I'm going to send this across another five. I'm just going to do that on the other side as well. I'm just going to link this up. And that's just going to be the section where this, the escalator will go up 
do the next floor. And I'm just going to do this for the rest of these escalators as well. So for this, just using this kind of point as a marker here, I'm going to place one light grey concrete just there. I'm just going to go across two blocks, no, three blocks either side. And then I'm just going to extend this across by another five each side. And then just going to join that together just there. And just to check it does allow you to go down the stairs. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'm just going to repeat this for these ones as well. So now I've created all of the holes for all of our escalators for the next floor. I'm now going to fill in the next floor. So firstly, just from this level here. So we should be filling this up six blocks high. So, and then, so on the sixth block. And I'm just going to fill in the whole of this floor now. Just any hollow areas. Just going to fill them in apart from the bits that we marked out earlier. So with all the floors filled in, you should have something that looks like this. So now moving back downstairs, as you can see, it is a little bit dark in here, so we better light this place up. So just moving to the right hand side here, firstly, using this window as a guide, just using these first two middle blocks, I'm going to go all the way across until I align with the pillar on my right. And then I'm just going to destroy these and place two glowstone just there. I'm just going to repeat this, making sure I align with each of the pillars. So I'm just going to do this going all the way across. And then I'm just going to repeat this pattern wherever I can, depending on where the walls are. So from this point, I'm going to make sure I go across to the next window and just find the middle point of that window, which I think is here. And we'll just destroy them and then place them as well. So just leaving a gap of five in between them. And then I'm also going to add one additional light just here as well. And then I'm going to grab my trap doors. I'm just going to place two of these under each glowstone. But then moving up here, as you can see, you can see the glowstone through the floor. But just to hide that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab myself some carpet. I'm just going to place this over each glowstone block. And if you find that downstairs is still a little bit too dark, what we can do, we can give ourselves a light block. Just here. And then with this, I can just place this kind of in the places where I think need a little bit more light. So I might add these in the kind of corners, which just need it a bit. So I might add one near this baggage area, as it does seem a little bit dark. Might add one just under the stairs here as well. Maybe some just behind the check-in desk. Just the areas which need a little bit more light. There we are, looks a little bit lighter here. So next up, let's move on to airport security. Let's hope I don't get stopped, day. Eh? So for airport security, firstly, I've got some grey concrete here. And just come in over to this window here. I'm going to go across six blocks. And on that six block, I'm going to place one grey concrete just there. I'm just going to build this going all the way along. Just until I line up with that post just over there. And then from this point, I'm going to place one grey concrete, leave a gap of four, and I'm just going to build this going all the way across just until I meet there. And then I'm just going to build all of these walls up to the ceiling. And then once those walls have been built up, I'm actually going to widen this by one more as well just there and then I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass panes and then I'm just going to place five of these on each side just there so firstly I'm just going to finish off the staircase here so with some grey concrete I'm going to place one more either side just there and then another two just on the top just there and then moving back to some deep slate tile stairs I'm then going to place just one more just there and then just to finish this off I'm going to add two trap doors just on the top just there and then grabbing some more black sand glass panes I'm just going to place one pane just there and then moving to the other side I'm going to place another two panes just there then I'm going to place one more on the left hand side and I'm just going to build this going all the way across just until I leave a two block gap just there and then come to the other side I'm going to place some more panes in the other direction 
and then just destroy the carpet because we need to place the panes here. I'm just going to build these across until I've got a block gap just there. And then just on this point, I'm actually going to build these panes going along. And I'm just going to join it to this wall just there. Just for a little safety barrier, else someone might fall down the escalator and that wouldn't be very good. And then just on this point, I'm going to build across again, leaving a two-block gap here. And then leaving another block gap, I'm going to place some more panes going across. Again, leaving a block gap here. And then finally, just one more pane going all the way across, leaving a gap just on the end there. And the next up for the sign, which shows you all the forbidden items. So for this, let's grab ourselves some yellow wool. And let's also grab ourselves a chain with that. So I'm just going to place one yellow wall there, bring that up so it's three blocks high. And then I'm just going to extend this across so it's four along in total. And then with some chains, just going to place one chain either side just there. And the next up, I'm going to give myself an invisible item frame. And um, the command for this will be in the description below. So I'm just going to paste that in. And that'll give us our item frame there. I'm just going to place four of these along the sign just there. And just keep hold of this item frame because we'll use that later as well. So firstly, for this site, I'm going to give myself a barrier. So if I just do slash give, and then my name, and then just barrier. Then what I can do, I can place these barriers just either side, just to show it's a forbidden item sign just there. And then in between that, let's add some dangerous items. Now, what kind of dangerous items are in Minecraft? Let's have a look. I think we should add... I think we should have a Minecraft with TNT, definitely TNT, and maybe like a sword as well. So if we just place some of these just there, and that shows some items that you're not allowed on the plane. So with that sign done, we can now move on to the screening area just here. So firstly, I'm going to grab myself some smooth stone slabs. So for this, just starting from this point, I'm going to go up five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And on that fifth block, I'm going to place seven slabs just on top of each other, just there. Then I'm going to leave a gap of one, and I'm going to place another seven on the other side and then just finish it off with one slab just on the top just there and then moving back to our invisible item frames i'm going to place one of these just on each kind of like top corner just there and then now i'm going to grab myself some red and some green wool and then for the front i'm going to place two green at the back i'm going to place two red there and the next up i'm going to grab myself some white concrete and i'm just going to place six just there. I'm just going to build this up by another layer. I'm just going to repeat this on the other side just here. And then I'm also going to grab myself some great banners. I'm just going to place two of these just on each side. Just there. And I'm also going to grab myself some deep slate tile stairs. I'm just going to place two of these just on the bottom layer just there. And then just rotating around, I'm going to grab myself some deep slate tile slabs. I'm going to place two of these just in front, just there. And then I'm also going to place four trap doors in front of these tiles, just there. And then just finishing it off, I'm going to place some carpet on top. So that's going to be the section where people retrieve all of their bags after they've been scanned. And then moving back to the trap doors, I'm going to place two of these on top as well. And the next start, I'm going to grab myself some quartz slabs. And then I'm just going to place three of these on each side. And these are going to be the desks where they kind of watch what items you're scanning. And then I'm also going to grab myself a blackstone pressure plate. I'm going to place one of these just in the middle, just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself a lever. And then with this iron trap door, I'm going to place one trap door just behind that pressure plate. And, and then I'm going to add a lever there. I'm just going to flip that. Just doing that on the other side as well and then with a painting for a laptop screen just going to place one painting just over them just like this and then for a chair design i'm also going to grab myself a smooth stone slab and i'm just going to place one of these behind each table there and then with an iron door i'm just going to place one behind each of these slabs and then just to finish it off i'm going to grab myself a white banner and just place that behind each of the chairs just here and then just for a bit of extra decoration, just in this corner, I'm going to grab myself a cauldron and some jungle leaves. I'm just going to place one cauldron there and then just three leaves on top for a little bush just there. So with our security area complete, we can now move on to the departure lounge. So before I start working on this departure lounge, I'm going to add some lighting. So firstly, let's grab ourselves some more glowstone and an iron jack door. And then just starting on the end here firstly, just going four blocks away from the first skylight, I'm going to destroy that and place two glowstone there. 
And then using this skylight as kind of like a central point, I'm going to go across another four and then on the fifth block, place another two glowstone just there. And then leaving the fourth, and then leaving four blocks, skylight, another four blocks, more glowstone. And I'm just repeating this until I reach the end. Just there. So you should align with the pillars like we've done downstairs. And then whenever I can add a light, and then whenever I can add an extra light, I'm going to follow this rule. So firstly, you could probably do it for this row as well. So just on this point, adding more glowstone. And then I'm also going to add some in the security area as well. And then I'm just going to cover all these lights up with some more trap doors. So next up for a gate design here. So firstly, I'm just going to grab some more grey concrete. And then I'm just going to place one more either side there. And then an extra two as well. And then with some more black stained glass, I'm just going to place two more. Just going up just there. But actually, we don't need this one. And then grabbing some more panes, I'm going to place one just there. And then starting from this point, I'm going to go across six and then another five just until I meet up with the window just there. And then next I'm going to grab myself some white concrete and then I'm just going to leave a gap of two and then I'm going to place another three blocks just there. And just going round, placing another four until I reach the window just there. And then next I'm going to grab myself a birch gate and I'm just going to place two of these there. I'm just going to keep them open. And then for another laptop, using the same design as we did in the security area, another black stone, an iron trap door behind that. Let's grab ourselves a lever and a painting. And then I'm just going to place a lever just there and then just the painting behind it, just like that. And the next up, let's grab ourselves a deep slate tile wall as well. And I'm just going to place one of these just there. And then I'm just going to place some more black stained glass panes just behind it. Just there as well. And then just to finish off this escalator as well, I'm also going to add myself some more deep slate tile stairs there. And then I'm also going to add myself some more stone just underneath it. And then just finishing off two more trap doors at the top just there. And then for a little ticket scanner, let's just add ourselves a button and place that down just there. And now for our gate sign, let's grab ourselves some black wall. And firstly, I'm just going to place two wall just on top of that wall just there. And then I'm going to grab myself an invisible item frame. Just going to place that there. And then I'm also going to grab myself a honeycomb. And this is going to be for our airline, which I've called Honey Airlines. So if we just add that there, that can be their kind of logo. And then I'm also going to grab myself a birch sign just there. And then I'm going to put gate one. And then where should we go? Where are we feeling? So firstly, let's just say, let's put the airline name, Honey Air. And then where should we go? Hmm, I'm thinking Brussels. I feel like I want to get some nice Belgian waffles or something. I'm fancying that. Just go to Brussels. Why not? So let's just put Brussels there. And then there we are. So now we've got this first gate done. I'm just going to repeat this for the other two gates as well. So just to start you off with this second gate, we should go across six blocks. And then from this point, that's where we start building this white wall. Just there. And then before we quickly repeat the design, I'm just going to add some different signs here because I'm going to add some different destinations. So if we go back to our black wall and our invisible item frames, let's place two wall on top of these again. And then let's add another invisible item frame. And then this time we're going to do a lightra air. So let's get our elytra just here and let's place that just there. And then with another birch sign, let's go to another place. So let's do, uh, let's call this gate two. And then it's going to be a light your air. And where should I go? Hmm. Have a nice. Let's have a nice beach. Let's go to. Uh, let's go to Greece. Let's go to Athens. Why not? So let's just put that just there. And then for our final gate, let's do the same thing. So gate three. And then let's do again a light your air lines. A light your air. If I can spell a light your. A light your air. And then this time, let's go to Paris. Why not? Let's go to France. Okay, there we are. Oh, I spelled it wrong. There we are. Oh, and quickly, before I forget, I need to add a sign here as well. Just showing where everything's going. So here, let's just add a departures sign. 
Just do a little arrow just there. And I'm also going to do a little baggage reclaim sign here as well. So now we've got all of the gates done, I'm now going to move on to the food counter for our departure lounge here. So firstly, I'm just going to grab myself some more grey concrete. And firstly, from this block, I'm going to place one grey concrete just there. And then I'm just going to build this up. And then I'm going to leave a gap of four, and then I'm going to place another three just there. And then just moving around, I'm going to place another four as well. And then I'm just going to build this section up. And then just moving back round to the front, I'm now going to grab myself some yellow concrete. And then just on this point, I'm going to build across six blocks. Just there. And then I'm just going to add some more grey just on the end there. And then I'm just going to build this yellow wall up all the way to the top. And then just coming to this right hand side, I'm going to grab myself some smooth stone slabs. And then I'm just going to place three at the bottom there, leaving a gap. And then I'm going to place some more just above that. And then in this little section here, I'm going to grab myself some grey glazed terracotta. And I'm just going to place three there. So for the kitchen area, I'm going to grab myself some white concrete. And I'm just going to place one block either side in this section. And then I'm going to extend this across by another three. And then just on the end here for a little fridge, I'm just going to grab myself some white shulker boxes. And place six of them just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself a smoker. Just going to place that in the gap just there. Followed by an iron trap door as well. And then just for a little extractor fan, I'm also going to grab myself a quartz there. I'm just going to place one just there. And then on either side, I'm going to grab myself a quartz slab and place one slab just there on each side. And the next up, I'm going to grab myself a nice lovely cake here as well. And I'm just going to place that just next to the fridge just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself a grey carpet also. I'm just going to place one next to the cake and then one in the corner as well. And then for a little chopping board, I'm going to grab myself a oak pressure plate and place that in the gap just there. And then with some more grey carpet, I'm going to place one carpet just on the end there. And then finally, just moving back to our grey carpet, I'm just going to place two carpet just on top just there. And then for our front counter, I'm now going to go back to some more white concrete. And then I'm just going to place three going along there and just on the end here I'm also going to add myself an iron trap door along with a lever as well and then I'm also going to grab myself an item frame and then I'm just going to place that next to this trap door here and in the item frame I'm going to add myself a lovely baked potato just there for a little plate design and then also I'm going to grab myself a stone brick stair and then I'm just going to place one of these just on there for a little tilt and then I'm also going to add myself a sign just behind that as well and then just on the end here I'm going to add some more grey carpet and then finally I'm also going to grab myself some more black wool and some chains for a little menu sign so I'm just going to add two chains up there with two black wool just there and then I'm going to grab myself another invisible item frame place two of them just there and then inside, this adds ourselves another lovely baked potato just there. And then this also adds ourselves a rabbit stew as well. And just to finish off, I might grab myself some glowstone as well and a trap door. And just add a little light in here as well. Now we've got our food counter done, we can now move on to the toilet area just here. So for the toilet area, first I'm just going to place two grey concrete just there. And then I'm just going to build this all the way up. I'm going to leave a gap of two and place another five and also build it up as well. And then with some black stained glass panes, I'm just going to place these along the right hand side just there for a little doorway. And then just coming in with some more grey concrete, I'm just going to line the back of this wall first just to hide the yellow. And then I'm also going to grab myself some white concrete and then just leaving a gap of two, I'm going to place one there and extend that by another three. And then I'm just going to build this all the way up. And then I'm also going to add another plant here as well. Let's grab ourselves a cauldron. Let's just add some more jungle leaves on top of that. I'm also going to add some more plants while I've got 
all this stuff out. So we might as well add one more just in the corner just there. And I'm also going to add another plant just in this corner as well for that little bit of extra decoration. And then just over here for a little sink design, I'm going to grab myself some smooth stone slabs. I'm just going to place two of these just in the middle. And then with a cauldron, I'm also going to place just one on either side just there. And then with a water bucket, let's just fill these up. And then finally for, for some taps, let's add two trip wire hooks on either side as well. So next up for the cubicles, so with some smooth stone slabs, I'm going to go up by five slabs just there. Then I'm going to place another one on there and then go along one and extend this by one more. And then I'm just going to repeat this for some more entrances to each of the toilets. Just there, and then I'm also going to just divide these walls off as well. And then next I'm going to grab myself a hopper, and I'm just going to place one of these in each cubicle just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself an oak trap door, and just place one of these on top. And then I'm going to grab myself a lever just here. I'm just going to flip these all the way down. And then I'm also going to grab myself an iron door, I'm just going to place these in front each cubicle just there I'm just gonna flick some of them open I might leave one open just there but then if we leave one open as you can see when we get in here we can get on the toilet just there so now with our toilet done we can now move on to adding some seats to our departure lounge here so for that I'm gonna grab myself a quartz stair also grab myself a deep slate file slab and also some of the yellow carpet and then just on this point, I'm going to place two quartz stairs just there and then another two on the other side. And then with a deep set tile slab, I'm going to place two of these in the middle, followed by another two quartz stairs just next to it. And then on top of these slabs, I'm going to place two yellow carpet. So that's going to be our main seating design. So if I just leave another gap of six, I'm going to place this again. So another four quartz stairs on either side and then two deep tape slabs in the middle and then yellow carpet on top. So firstly, I'm just going to keep repeating this design along this wall just to start with. And then I'm also going to add some seats here as well. To carry on from here, I'm going to leave another gap or two. And I'm going to build some more seats. Just going towards the window just there. And then just for when I reach the window, I'm just going to do a single pair just here. And then I'm just going to repeat this another two more times, leaving a gap of two in between each of them. So now we've got all of our seats placed, I'm now going to add the board where all the flight info is shown. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some black wall, some iron trap doors, and some burt signs and then just starting on this block i'm going to place three black wall just there and add some trap doors just on the top and bottom of it and i'm just going to add one sign saying each gate just on it just here with the departure board all placed that is our airport terminal all complete so i hope you guys enjoyed this airport terminal build tutorial and in the next part of the airport collection, I'll be showing you how to make a watchtower and a runway. And also, if you want to join a building community, my Discord link is in the description. But yeah, and if you did enjoy this tutorial, please smash that like button as it does help me out and I would appreciate that. But yeah, so thanks for watching and have a good day.